For the Hazard Cinema's 200th upload, we wanted to give you something special, and we feel like the BF3 plays. Episode 13 would be a good one. And number 10, I love stuff like this. Intense Noob has a 44 Magnum, and he's going to be showing us how having a precise shot with this weapon is lethal. As he heads through gold and gets one, two, and three. All clean shots in the face, taking his tally up to five. As he takes on Grand Bazaar, pistol only, ticks a left off the alley, and nails one more clean headshot for a streak of six kills with six perfect shots, with just a sidearm run and gun. Number nine, LOG Titan is in a tank and has to deal with an overhead attack chopper. Unfortunately, he's playing on the Xbox and has to deal with a very slow cannon turn on his tank. But he deals with it pretty damn well as he nails the helicopter right out the sky. And after acquiring a fresh tank at his own spawn, he smacks down an enemy jet too, with his reflexes as quick as they can possibly get. I remember having to try to deal with slow rotating cannons when I played on Xbox. And it is a pain in the ass, and stuff like this... That is not easy to do on a console. <laughs> like, I'm proud of myself if I hit those on PC. I don't know what's stopping them from introducing alternate vehicle sensitivities for the console, but... That's why I'm not a game developer. But moving on, number 8, Mad Alarm was flying a jet through Gulf of Oman, ejecting himself high into the sky, sees what looks like an enemy Viper in action, goes for the miracle shot, and he pings it right on the bunce whilst parachuting down from above. Couldn't have possibly picked a more perfect placement. <laughs> Fucking alliteration all over the place. Feeling peckish? P -p -p -pick up a penguin. That's enough of that, I'm so sorry. Number seven, guided missile. Oh my god! Right into the face of the jets. <laughs> <laughs> well, our man, Azacom is fucking happy about that one, isn't he? <laughs> well, I'm yet to unlock those TV guided missiles for my own helicopters because I try not to go in helicopters because there's much better pilots than me who can put them to much better use than I can. Perhaps I'll show an example of my flying skills sometime in the future if you want to call them that. They ain't pretty, but another TV missile coming up and another jet, surely not! Yeah, I didn't think so. That, that wouldn't be possible. Oh right, okay. <laughs> because two TV missiles in a row is just too good to be true, but parachuting out of your helicopter and hitting the jet with a small... Hell yes, I was totally on the cards. <laughs> I think that might be my favourite play. I just wish I had the gameplay sound to it, because I love the explosions. But number six, White Moose wants to blow shit up. Oh. Of course. Oh, your feet can! So he proceeds to RPG the Viper from the passenger seat of his team's Venom. Well, just a few seconds before he launched the RPG, he declared, I want to RPG something like a tank, or, or that Viper over there. And with that, down goes the Viper on Gulf of Oman. We've got plenty of Gulf of Oman action today. A very fun map for vehicle play. And on top of blowing shit up, he is still an NG in the back seat of a helicopter, and he's doing his bit to keep his chopper in the sky, earning the Milestone Maintenance Medal for 10k. And he looks up and sees an incoming jet, and fires... <laughs> his friend jokes about cheats, White Moose claims he's awesome, but secretly confesses his luck. Either way, the play was brilliant. Number five, tricky name, but I'm gonna call you Koopal. He's in a tank at the beach of... <laughs> would, you, would you believe it? I'll let you figure out what the map is. <laughs> but he's firing the MG of the T-90, killing some infantry around the D-flag, Denies the overhead jet its fun time in the air, destroys it and kills the pilot. He's been locked down for a while by a javelin, casts the smoke to divert the javelin, but he does take an RPG to the side, runs out to kill the engineer, kills him with the A91, and he needs to repair his T90. And repairing the main battle tank is a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's someone has got to be done. But it's 100% now good to go, and this confuses me a little. Canister shell hits, you can see the marker, and that shell looks like it connects, and the helicopter's destroyed, but he gets no points for it. So if someone else shot it, how did he not get any assist points from the canister shell hit? I think he might have got ripped off by the game there, but I'm sure he can make up for it. Good night! Jet number two goes down. Now he spots another chopper. Initial round misses, but... The canister shell is enough to destroy the already disabled helicopter and kill both the enemies flying inside it. So Kubel's done a pretty damn good job of cleaning up the beach and giving the enemies a hard time flying in from the boat. But there is one more helicopter coming in. Looks like the Venom. 
sends a main cannon round as the crippler and the canister shell the finisher concluding a great display of main battle tank as an anti-air tank lots of jets and choppers went down that day number four cbk 1907 once again in our top place tanking on Karg island i wonder if this is in the same game yeah i got the jets cbk can Belly containers excitement at taking out that jet. He is delighted. Proceeds to make his way down the roads towards the A flag, where most of the enemy is going to be emerging from in tanks and other vehicles as well as on foot. So with having the T90, he needs to get himself over there and put up a rock solid defense and get the big threats out of the way. Like this guy. Yes. <laughs> Once again, ecstatic. And I just got freaking another squad chopper. <laughs> It's like, it's like it's no big deal, you know? Yep, do this all day, every day. <laughs> Man, I'd be fucking delighted if I could nail shit out the sky that easy. I guess some people just have a knack for it. Just takes practice, I guess. But now that his team have captured A, he's doing his bit to keep the infantry away from it. In comes a tank, and he deals with it very quickly. Destroys it, kills the driver, and he sees an enemy chopper in the sky, once again just hovering, trying to turn away. And there's no escape in the T90 shell. Yeah, I got the tech chipper also. Nice. It's not a single fuck given. <laughs> he starts pushing up towards the top of the road now, which is very dangerous. Any further is suicide. So he backs off, casts some smoke, sees a spotted chopper icon, and tries to line up the perfect shot. Oh god, there's a tank right through the smoke. Backs up a little panic, starts putting cannon rounds on the tank, then decides to get a jeep on his right, jumps out, RPGs the tank, gets the disable on it, sprays a scar H at the ejected driver, the tank blows up, and somehow... he survived that. It's a miracle. Number three, Westwood Killer. He's playing some demolition on underground on Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> you guys can't see me, but I'm putting on my best troll face as we speak. It's actually Rush on Operation Metro with the ACOG M40 on Hardcore. And to clarify, I don't really have an issue with hardcore sniping, but I understand it's one of the more controversial topics for whatever reason, but I hope you don't want to crucify me if you want to add a little humor to the situation. <clears throat> Go back to Cod Boo. So anyway, Westwood Killer is literally tearing shit up left, right, and center on the second base of Metro with the M40, and he's also attached a suppressor to make himself a little more difficult to detect by removing the muzzle flash from his weapon. And he racked up 11 kills in this little tear, running through the trains, but it's important to note in that play, he put down a spawn beacon. So he spawns on it, puts a fresh one down, and he's on his way again with one, two, goes outside, gets a third, misses this shot, and decides not to linger out in the open, gets inside the train, looks to his left, for four, and five, all the defenders outside there getting taken down, that's six. Taking risks now, runs a little further up, gets a seventh who's prone on the floor, and that's about all he can manage before he finally gets taken out for good. 18 kills in total. Number two is Mongol, and he's playing Karg Island Rush, and he's on defense. And it's time for some clutch defusing. As A is ticking, last bomb of the game. If this goes off, the game is over. Mongol kills the defender, and he starts disarming. A grenade comes in, but lands the other side of the MCOM, deals no damage to him, gets the disarm, starts running downstairs, and the building is flooded with enemies. So now he's got to put his M416 to good work. Tries to revive his teammate, gets the sound, but I don't think it actually worked. The defibrillator's hit detection, if you will, seems a little ropey in this game. Gets a double spray ahead of him, looks out to his left, there's three enemies, wipes them all out with one mag for a triple spray, reloads once again, looks straight ahead, one enemy dispatches him, looks to his right, enemy running up the staircase for the plant, jumps and catches him with enough rounds just before he turns the corner. Then the wall behind him explodes to reveal even more enemies, another double spray right there. Combat efficiency medal, I should fucking think so after that. Looks over towards the front door, where I assume the front door used to be, picks up one more kill, and the warehouse for now seems to be empty, but they're going to be coming again. One runs past on his left, Scotty Too Hot is doing the worm on his right. For the two-piece, another comes running in through the door, sprinting around corners, shame on you. Spots one more in the distance at the edge of the platform, and finally someone manages to escape his M416. This man gets a face full of G18. Defibrillators once again don't work, pulls out the G18, one more kill, and finally... Mongol dies after 18 kills and the all-important defuse at the start of the play. And for number one, I'll let you hear the chat for this one. one uh, four. Four. Five. No, 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 that, that be here. Six. Seven. Are you kidding? Eight. Nine. Ten. 
Yeah, oblivious of you. Right? Eleven. Wormhole Wizard, earning the number one spot with a very funny original play where he defibrillates the enemy team for the lulls. Hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.